The estimate is in the vicinity of $200 million. $200 million is a very significant value. It is the highest pre-sale estimate ever to put on, on any work of art, painting, sculpture, anything that we've seen at auction. It's about beauty, it's about fame, it's about death. He painted this painting after Marilyn committed suicide. It's about disaster, the most beautiful, most glorious um, celebrity and her tragedy. So this is very Warholian to show all of this that fascinates us in the news, in the print media. That's what we're going. And Warhol was the one to recognize this combination of fame and glory and the dark side of it. So it's really very few times in the life of someone a Marilyn comes up for sale. Um, so it is for the art world really the spectacular event because she is the American Mona Lisa. So this incredible 110 million year old dinosaur skeleton is known as Deinonychus, which means terrible claw. And this is the animal that the Velociraptor in Jurassic Park was based on. So what's really nice about this skeleton is it's the most complete one known. There are 126 of the original fossil bones, including all of the claws that make this raptor so iconic and famous. So this particular skeleton was found about seven years ago in Montana. The species itself was first named by scientists in the 1960s. So the species is discovered in 64-65, which is the same year that Warhol painted his iconic Marilyn painting. So it's a very nice juxtaposition of dates to be offering this 110 million year old skeleton popular icon of the dinosaur world is the raptor, alongside Warhol's popular icon of Marilyn Monroe. These fearsome claws that are so iconic of the raptor. So we have an estimate of four to six million dollars on this skeleton. It is the first one of its kind ever to come to auction. So it's very possible that we'll see that estimate shattered when it comes to sale on May 12th. The Russian buying is not hugely significant. Um, and, you know, we will see quite honestly.